What's up guys? Today I want to talk about customizing your terminal shell. So right now I've been just using the basic terminal that comes with Mac. Um, but this is alright. Um, it works fine, but I can do everything. I can do all the commands. All that works nicely. But there's other types of terminals and basically a terminal language. It's, this one's called Bash um, that you can use that uh, I found that I like some of them better. So this is this is fine if you're starting out, use this, but then once you um, you know get used to this, I recommend trying different ones and seeing what you like. So for example, what I use is usually I use um, something that looks like this. This is my usual terminal um, program. This is what it usually looks like. This is how I do most of my stuff. Um, and what I'm using right now is iTerm. Um, you can see right here. Um, this is uh, basically a terminal um, emulator for Mac. Um, so I don't think this is on Windows or Linux. Um, iTerm isn't that special. What I'm going to talk about next is, and you can get both of those on Windows and um, Linux no matter what. Um, this just basically um, made it nicer, easier to customize things. It has a whole bunch of different features. Um, so if you're on Mac, I definitely recommend taking a look at this. You might like this better than uh, using Terminal. And there's other Terminal emulators for Windows and Linux, so definitely take a look at different ones than just the ones that come default with what you have. Um, uh, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, Bash. Um, so as I said, this uses Bash, which is a basically the type of shell it is. Um, how it works um, is you know, the way it's coded, the architecture, uh, architecture is Bash. Um, there's other ones, there's not just Bash. What I use um, most of the time is something called Zish. Zish. It's spelled Z-S-H. Um, and there's a few reasons I use this over Bash, uh, and I want to show you them right now. So one of them, uh, this is kind of a quirky feature, I like it, but um, it's, for example, I'm just going to go into my desktop real quick and, for example, go into books. Okay, so remember how I was saying that with the bang sign, um, uh, and you type the command and it will run the last command you did. Well, I like to know the last, sometimes I don't remember what the last CD command I did. Or, you know, maybe it's a different command, maybe it's a move command I'm doing, or a grep that I did a while ago, and I don't remember what it was. Um, and so what I really like about Zish, if I hit tab, um, what it will do is it will just expand it out for me. So if we go back over here, if I were to do bang sign CD and hit tab, nothing happens. You know, it doesn't do anything. I just have to guess that that's the, hopefully the right CD command that I wanted. I really like that with Zish that it expands it out for me. I can just hit bang sign CD, hit tab. Hey, yeah, that's the thing I wanted. Or maybe hey, that's not, but I can fix it real quick to the way I like it. So I really like that part of it. Uh, the second thing is, um, and this is where it gets um, a little, um, it, you might not like this, I like it though, is when, for example, if I'm trying to CD into some place, um, and let's say I spell desktop wrong on accident, um, I have it so it auto will it'll detect when you do something wrong, and it'll try to correct it. So you notice I type desktop on accident, and it asks me what I like to do desktop. And now it gives me some options. I can edit my command with E, I can abort it with A, or I can say, um, yes, thank you, please change it to desktop. And look at that, we went to desktop. Um, and if we go back, and you'll notice it also changes my history um, to the right thing. We can abort it, um, or we can edit it, and it brings us back, and then we can then type the right thing. Um, so I, I kind of like that it stops you, and it's like, hey, you can do it this differently. And then the last thing that I really like about Zish is, um, for example, when I'm using the tab button, if I'm in my desktop, or not in my desktop, my home directory, I'm just going to clear real quick, and let's say I type D. Now there's multiple things, if I were to hit tab right now, there's multiple things that will match D, as you can see when I hit tab. And then I can hit tab again, and it'll start cycling. I can just tab through and pick the one that I want. Um, I like going being able to tab through like that. Um, whereas in Bash, if you do CDD, I hit tab, or let's go back to home, CD, 
D and I hit tab, notice as many times as I hit tab, all it does is it spits out these guys. Um, unlike with this, how it cycled through, you could see it hovering over each one. So I really like that, um, those features. There's also some other small things um, that I like about Zish, um, and that's, uh, I've changed and I've been using this, and I, I really like it, and I'm not going to move back probably to Bash. Um, but notice, I was still able to use Bash just fine because it's basically the same thing. There's just a couple small improvements over it that I like um, that make my life a little bit easier when programming that I've been using Zish for. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about is, notice the color of this. Um, this uses a solarized um, um, color scheme. They have a light and a dark. I'm using the dark right now. Um, if we go back, you'll notice um, it's dark blue. And you'll notice I have uh, colors. Um, you see Composer. I think it, some different binary files are colored. Um, it just diff colors different things. You'll notice how uh, directories are bolded and uh, files are not. I just kind of like um, the way that the colors look, and especially um, when you open up text using Vim. Um, if you don't know what Vim is, don't worry about it, but I like how it looks um, that way. So you can go and edit your stuff, and with iTurner it makes it very easy. You can just go into um, Profiles, um, and then the Preferences for iTerm, and you can appearance profiles and you can pick different ones that you want colors um, so I really like that I like to color scheme out my terminal so do know you can make it whatever color you like there's lots of different themes out there I definitely recommend going googling um, for the terminal that you're using how to set up um, different color schemes so you can make your terminal pretty and make it fun to program in the color that you like so I just wanted to share with you guys uh, what my terminal looks like when I'm actually um, developing things and uh, coding things I will be using. This is what it will look like. I will not be using this regular terminal. So take a look at the other options that are out there. I'll put the links um, in the description below for um, iTerm, Zish, and uh, Solarize if you're interested in using those.